viewers, I am Biradin Samantaran from Arya Bhattaka Carriers Academy. Today my English uh, Grammar uh, Part 4. Show my dear students, today is my lesson about indefinite or simple future tense. So, in my last class I told you that 1985 new English revised grammar came into exist. So according to that English revised grammar, there is no future tense at all. So it is really one surprise thing. If a future is not there, so what is the meaning of work? What is the meaning of existence of past and present? So, we will see the English revised grammar tells us that only there are two tenses, present and past, future is followed by time. But here I want to tell you what do you mean by time? It may be past, it may be present, it may be future. So, according to that new revised grammar, the future will be taken as a time. So, how we will see? They, they have given us the tense, the sentence will start with a Present a simple followed by either time, future time, or day, or date, weeks, months, and year. So we will see how I go to. Delhi tomorrow. I go to Delhi. It is purely, it is purely simple present followed by day, next day. That is called as a tomorrow. So, likewise. Is used in the future tense. So according to tradition. 
rational grammar. Here, there are uh, three tenses, present, past and the future. So let us uh, start with, we came to know according to the method of our new revised grammar. Let us uh, start with shall and will of our uh, traditional grammar. So first we will come to know what do we mean by shall and will. These two words, these two words are already modals. What do we mean by modals? Modals are the part of a, they are the modals are the part of a helping verb. Part of helping verb. So, those verbs cannot be used independently for which they need do verb, be verb and a have verb. That's why these helping verbs divided into two parts, one is the auxiliary and another part is the called as the modal. Sal and will here, which are used for future, they are taken as the modas. Let us see. So 
subject shall go verb one tomorrow complement. Show. Sure. Next, second person. You will. Go to Delhi tomorrow. So, you is the subject. Will is according to our statement principle. Will is used in the second and the third person. First person, second person, and the third person. So will is used for second person. Go for one. Then the object to more or complement. So next third person we will see. He go. He will. that in the present day 
in this in the present the english where is used in its and its in its person integrative so my dear students in integrative we will come first with plus subject plus verb one plus uh, object or So I will go interrogative. It will come. Will I go? Ah, huh, yes. 
plus interrogative mark or not question mark. Will I go question mark? Will is according to our top model. I is the subject and go is the verb word. Will you? Will we go? Will is term model. We subject go for one with question mark. Gopal will go. Will Gopal? Will is modal. Gopal is subject. Go is verb. Children will go. Will is modal. Children. Will children go? Will is modal. Children subject go for one and question tag or the interrogative ah mark. So, my dear students, we came to know positive and positive interrogative. Let us see. Negative and negative interrogative. So we will now know about negative future. So principles principle subject plus modal will plus not plus bar one plus object negative future plus object or complement so Part we will see interrogative, negative interrogative. So I will not go. Plus not plus subject 
प्लस भर वन प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट और कॉम्प्लीमेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मार्क आई विल नॉट गो टू मोरम विल नॉट आई गो टू मोरो क्वेश्चन मार्क शो विल इज मोडल not according to our principle subject i go for one tomorrow is complement and question mark oi oi second person you will not go tomorrow will not you so my dear students today is uh, end of jai hind